Today we're going to do the exploding box. There's the basic exploding box where you have the three layers and it's one little box and that's what a lot of people do. Um, I had discovered how to make um, these really cute snowman, well, or character, I should say, boxes out of, by stacking your boxes instead of laying them inside, which I'll kind of briefly touch upon. But I'm really going to basically cover the basic of the exploding box, which are really, really cool. So basically, you have this box, and it has a cover, and when you take the cover off, it explodes. And you have three layers, and I didn't decorate this one, it's just a basic little thing. But each layer, you'll decorate, and you can decorate this part, and then this and then uh, on the outside as you want to. Um, to make the exploding box, um, actually I wanted to show you really quick the my three, not three, I keep saying three. Oh my gosh, I'm tired. Um, my two little snowmen that I made last year, which are really cute little um, decorations. They um, are three boxes and they're all exploding boxes each box. Hold on. Oh. Sorry about this. And unfortunately, I have my cheap little camera and I can't edit because none of the editing things I've downloaded work because I don't have a Mac or Vista or whatever. So, anyways, um, each box, what I did was made it where it doesn't have the layer, it's just a box itself. So, it's pretty sturdy. And as you can see, you know, uh, I decorated the inside. And, you know, you decorate the outside as you want. You know, this one I put ribbon around and added three buttons. And then again, you open it and inside. I haven't added any pictures yet. Um, but you can add pictures to each little thing. And as you can see, the corners you can decorate. Or you can add sayings or even other small little pictures I guess. Um, I didn't do a lot of decorating on this one because of the paper that I chose was I used the um, luxury stack from Die Cuts with a View which is a really good sturdy paper and of course I used it on the inside and outside. Oh, it's apart there. Um, so and that's basically it and it folds up into you know a nice little box where goes on it and they make cute little decorations um, so basically to do your exploding box you'll need um, four pieces of paper I don't know if you can read this I can't I don't know how to add text either um, so basically you need a 12 by 12 11 by 11 a 10 by 10 and an 8 by 8 either cardstock or really um, heavy pattern paper you don't want really the flimsy paper because it will, it just won't hold up, at least for the outside box. So your 12 by 12, I don't know if you can read that either, um, you're going to score at 4 inches all the way around. So what I do, because I'm dyslexic, is I will find my 4 inch and I will score and I have the Martha Stewart scoreboard, which is pretty much the same as the score pal. Um, the only difference with this is you have um, a few more lines. Her, I find her bone folder, I mean, I'm not really bending very much, and one of these days I'm going to end up breaking it. Um, so I just turn my paper. Um, one little turn. I forget how many degrees that is. I'm really tired. It's like my fourth time making this video. Um, I can't even think. It's horrible. And so you just keep turning it. And I just find if I have that one mark that I know at four inches, I don't have to worry about trying to measure this way and then turning it in which way. So basically you end up... I don't know if you can see, you basically end up with nine boxes in that you have scored. Um, and what you're going to end up doing 
is you're going to cut out the corners. So that is where you're going to grab your trimmer and you're going to line the score line here right up with your with your cutting line. And you're only going to cut right to that little this next score line that goes the other way. And most of your trimmers have a little pointy thing at the end so you know okay I need to stop there that's where the blade is and then you can line it up again and then you're going to move it down to the next line that goes the same way horizontally I guess I'm just tired right now and so and this is just not fine. This is not lining up. Just not my day today. So again, you do the same thing. You can also do it with a pair of scissors. It's totally dealer's choice. You know, it's getting dark in here, so I don't even know if you can see. Just pop a light on really quick here in a second. And then basically, you end up with these little squares that you can use for. Um, decorating later if you so choose um, or you can use completely different coordinating paper or contrasting paper and then basically what you end up with as you can see is you end up with this basically a plus sign and so that is what you end up having and um, you end up and you'll do that with if that helps. Um, your other three, your 11 by 11, you're going to score at three and three fourths inch all the way around, like I just did. And then your 10 by 10, you're going to score at the three and a half inch all the way around. And then so you will end up with three plus signs, basically. And then where your score lines are, you're just going to fold them, just to give you that quick fold. And on this one, I'm going to have it where the stripes are on the outside. And then my next layer will be this way, and I'm going to put it so that the stripes are facing up on this one. So it kind of goes every other. And you don't have to use the same three papers. And then I'm going to do it with the pink going this way, just to give it kind of a contrasting thing. And then what you want to do is before you go and glue these all together, is you want to, you know, take whatever you want to use. You know, say you're going to do some of these and you want to glue that down and if you're going to add buttons or you know like how I had in here you want to get all that glued down and adhered before you add the next three layers and then basically let's just pretend because we're all creative but these are all decorated you don't want to decorate this center piece on the bottom or the center piece in the middle layer um, because you're going to put adhesive all the way around. I usually do a good square and then an X and then a plus to really get it stick. Or I'll use some really good glue dots, the big ones, and put them in each corner and then in the center. And then you'll line it up and you'll adhere it down like that. And then you'll do the same thing with this one is put the adhesive in the middle and line that one up. And this one here you can um, decorate the middle. Now for the cover you have your 8x8 and you um, on your 8x8 you're going to score at 2 inches all the way around and then what you will do is what I usually do is I just kinda go ahead and I just fold everything so I can really see my score lines and then I cut right up the middle 
from the corner to corner, just diagonally, right to that little center thing. And then I cut up just one side of the triangle. Basically, you snip out a triangle like that. And so you end up with it where it's going to be like that. And I do that with all four corners. And what I try to do is I make sure each little flap has a, a triangle. So I know this, I snipped that one off. So I'm going to keep that one. And I will cut this one. Not doing a really good job either. really apologize. And then again... You just do it with all four, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna put adhesive on the little triangles. And oh, if you want to put, say, you want to have something on the inside, you'll decorate it and get that glued down. And then um, I'm just gonna use these little photo corners really quick. This is your outside. You want to make sure you put the adhesive on the outside. And like I said, I'm just doing this really quick with the little photo tabs. You really want to use something a lot stronger. Oh, this is like the fourth time I'm doing this video because I screwed them all up, the other ones. And then basically you're going to take that and you're going to adhere it like that. So you end up with, you know, having your cover where you have your nice cover that goes all the way nice square um, and then it will basically will fit on your little box you know once it's all done you just kind of get it in there and it will fit just like that and you'll have your box now if you want to do the three stacking ones like I did. I don't know what the measurements are for the covers. I'll have to look that up. I don't think I posted that today. But basically you're going to, instead of trimming to get your um, your little plus sign, you're going to keep your corners. You're going to keep them in there and you're going to fold all your score lines. And then what I do um, actually, the way this one is, I have this one for the gray, is the outside, is I take, and I take this corner and this corner, and I line them up like that. Oh, this is already kind of pre-scored. And then you basically push it down, and you'll be able to just really just push it down and kind of score it yourself, and then it will basically fold in like that and you'll do that with each of the corners and I'll you just if you can't I can't do it on the scoreboard but you may be able to do it with your trimmer and score it that way but that is how you end up you know with your little box that ends up like that and it looks like that on the inside and then you'll have your cover Working for me today. It's a lot easier than this. I'm just really tired. Is this the cover for this? Yeah, it is. It's gonna, this is my part of my Dracula that I'm working on. It's my middle box. Um, I think I covered everything. I have the written instructions. Um, I know definitely on my Facebook page. Um, and I'll try to make sure I get them on my blog. Um, and so that's pretty much how you do the exploding box. And I can't wait to see what you do.